Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a get on ready with me, which I have not done in a long time, while I chat with you guys and give you guys like 10 self-care tips or self-care ideas that you can practice at home that are so effective for me and hopefully they can help you guys out too. So if you're excited or wondering what my self-care tips are, do you want to see what's under all this makeup? Then go ahead and keep watching. So now that I have provided the cringiest, cringiest intro of YouTube 2021, let's get into it. So I'm going to be getting on ready. Like you're about to see just like the bear of my face. Okay. Okay. Like you guys think you see the bear of my face before I put makeup on, but like not freshly washed bear face. You see like, you know, I'll put some skincare on. So I'll be so pretty and some glowy. This is going to be like all up in my face bear. So we're here for it. All right. So I'm going to take these off. Ah. So I like these talking videos with you guys where I kind of like do like almost like lifestyle I guess like here's some ideas here's some tips for life do better whatever you know what I mean but I also don't like just sitting here like number one number two it kind of gets boring for me so I'm just like oh I'll just get on ready if you guys want to see this makeup look I did upload it yesterday I'll go ahead and pop it up here for you to check out but it was a super fun look and I really actually love it and it definitely got me out of my comfort zone and I think I'll be doing this a lot more let me know what you think about it down below um if you hate it, just like keep that, keep that negativity to yourself, okay? But like if you love it, let me know. <laughs> and I'm also going to be going in with all Tula products because that's what I've been using. I'm doing a whole like Tula regimen to give you guys like an update. It's going to be not this week, but next week it'll be the full update. So just keep that in mind. I will go ahead and put across the screen what I'm using because I'm going to be talking. So I don't want to like lose focus. So the first thing I like to do when it comes to self-care is I like to make it so it's things that like... I enjoy doing I don't like it to be the worst does that make sense so like if some of these things don't resonate with you then I really don't want you to be doing them I want it to be something that isn't forced that you enjoy doing the first one that I do and I do this often I don't do like a set day I know some people do like self-care Sundays blah 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 I just do this like whenever so I like to color I've said this many times on my channel here recently I am a coloring fan like I literally will just sit down with my markers I have like a whole set it's like a pencil pouch like bag I got from Amazon it has coloring books in it it has my pencils it has my markers it has like everything I possibly need to color and I will literally pop my airpods in and just like jam out listening to music while I'm coloring I find it very relaxing you don't have to be an artist to do it like I'm not by any means a Picasso but I just really do enjoy doing it a lot so the next thing kind of ties into that like I said I put my airpods in music is definitely one of the things that I use as an escape I know that a lot of people do that, but I just find that in music, I can really express how I feel without actually having to say it. So like, I'm not like coming out and writing my own songs. You can do that for sure, but I'm not a musician. I just put my AirPods in and I just jam. Then I'll just like light a candle and a lot of my candles, I like to have like the essential oils in them and I'll use like lavender and just like calming scents. I just love it when I'm in the car, if I'm having a bad day, I just put my AirPods in and I just forget, man. I forget everything that's going on, everything that I need to deal with. I just do my thing and I sing. You know, I can't sing well, so jot that down um, and the next one is it kind of ties into that as well is dancing I know that this sounds silly and a lot of you are like Jamie I don't dance I just don't do it okay I'm not a good dancer either and I'm not saying go to a club and like break it down so basically what I like to do is I'm usually alone when I do this is if I'm really in a bad headspace or I feel like I'm becoming like stressed out I will get up and I will just dance and honestly not even just being alone I do it with my children too like if I'm not feeling it or we're just having a blah day I just throw on some jams and we get up and we dance like we legitimately have a dance party in the living room before school starts and just go I definitely recommend dancing like even if you can dance every day just for like five minutes by yourself every single day just dance don't even don't have a plan 
Like, you don't have to do the whoa. You could just dance. Like, just dance. Just dance. Have fun. And I'm telling you, your whole mood will just change. Um, and that goes for the next thing, which is exercising. I do find that exercising does definitely boost my positive way of thinking, my vibes, just a healthier way of thinking. What is it release? Like serotonin or something, I'm sure. But exercising, I find, is a wonderful thing that I love to do. I love, 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 love meditating. Meditating is another one. Someone else recommended yoga in the morning, so I'm thinking about trying yoga on YouTube. Like, not me doing it, like watching somebody else do it. And just seeing like how it goes. So meditating would definitely be my next one because I feel like meditating and yoga and exercise kind of like all go together. Obviously like skincare, masking, skincare, just taking time to sit down and take care of myself, I find to be so relaxing because I don't get to do that a lot being a mom of four. I just don't, I don't have that luxury all the time. So I'll come up here and again, I light a candle and I just sit down and I'll put a mask on and just like put my lights on back here. Like these are not just like YouTube lights. Like I use these, I'll have the big lights off and I'll just have a mask on just chilling. And then just like any just relaxing mask. Origins has a lot that I really, really love. Believe it or not, some of my self care is makeup, doing my makeup. So doing my makeup, for YouTube even, just sitting here putting makeup on. I find that when I went through my issues with my mental health last year, in the beginning of the year, I felt that like I just wasn't in the mood to put makeup on, but then when I started to actually put it on, I felt so much better. Um, when I was putting it on like I just remembered like I'm a bad bitch like ah there she is Couldn't find her, but there she is like I just feel like I know sometimes we're just not in the mood for it But even if you're not doing YouTube sit down put your makeup on if you love makeup if not pick something else Obviously this one isn't for you But if you do love makeup sit down and just play with your makeup because those things make you happy. So they're going to genuinely just get you excited and get you happy and get you feeling good. And like, it's one of my favorite things to do is to play with my makeup, even if I'm not on YouTube, because I love makeup. So it puts me in such a good headspace. It's just, it's my journey. That is my journey. I love makeup. I love all things beauty. It is what it is. So I have three more things. I know I haven't really been like counting them for you guys, which are, you can take like bath with bath salts. I know that you can get like really, really nice bath salts that have some um, essential oils in it, lavender and stuff like that, just to kind of calm you. Light some candles. I don't do this one too often. My husband does do a foot bath like the foot spa and he loves that like that's his self-care for sure he just absolutely loves doing it and he says it's so relaxing so I know that like I would take baths sometimes and like right now with only having one bathroom in the small house I can't really do that so I haven't done that in a very long time but I used to love just lighting a candle putting some bath salt in and just chilling in the bathtub with music and just just letting all of the bad just like soak out of your body. And then the next one is, this is such a weird one, but like, hear me out. Having my hair brushed or brushing my hair. I mean, no one else has to do it, but I love to brush my hair. And a lot of people with the whole curly girl thing, were like, you're not supposed to brush it. That's my favorite thing, okay? I love brush. I just love sitting there and just brushing my hair and sometimes my husband will do it and it's so sweet that he does that. Like I just love that. There's nothing better for me than just having my hair brushed. It just puts me in such a different like peaceful relaxed state. It's so weird. If you guys like your hair being brushed please let me know. I cannot be the only one. And then the last one would be writing or journaling. So I'm not really good with like pen paper, start writing and write how I feel. I have to be prompted. So I usually will write in journal. I got from five below like a new journal and it gives me prompts. So it kind of helps me start writing. And then once I do start, with the prompts, I can kind of just be on my own and do my own thing and really get some good stuff out. But when it comes to starting writing a journal on my own, I cannot do it. So I have to be prompted and I have to really like have a start 
to be able to get what I need out but I do absolutely love it I do feel like journaling and writing are just ways to really just express how you feel like 100% without saying it because a lot of the times we have these issues or grievances or sometimes it's just with ourselves so like just conversation isn't my strong suits so i just feel like if i sit down and i just write it and i start journaling and just sometimes it doesn't even make sense sometimes i just start writing um but it just definitely is a way to take care of my mental health i feel so i'm not just sitting here trapped like with all of this negativity and heavy stuff that i feel like i can't express verbally and it just sits and weighs on you you really just don't want to do that i find that self-care is extremely important it is definitely one of my major goals for 2021 is because i never thought of self-care as being important i always thought it was like a selfish thing to do and now because i am so much more focused on my mental health my overall health and self-care and like teaching my kids these things too because I want my kids to grow up and understand like it's not selfish to want to take care of yourself mentally physically whatever it's actually a good thing because when you feel good about yourself and you feel good about your surroundings and what you're doing you're gonna handle your life and day-to-day -day situations so much better so I find that you know instead of teaching people and kids to just suck it up and deal with it or you know don't cry about it whatever teach them to like just take care of themselves like I teach teach my kids self-care like you know my son didn't realize that his games are self-care he loves them it, he loves playing them it's something he loves to do for himself so that is a self-care thing so just these are just some ideas if you're stuck and need to know some ideas that I do for self-care but honestly just think of things that you love and take time to do them gardening painting some people love to clean some people i don't know why but some people love to clean so that can be something that you use for self-care go and organize your closet go and organize a drawer i know that like people are like self-care sunday and it's kind of like a trendy thing but it kind of annoys me at the same time i i want you guys to strive for 2021 to do self-care at least for 20 minutes a day if you can don't just focus on one day because then it's a uh, this is like how do I put that it's like a, this is my time thing no every day should be about you every day should be about you taking care of yourself mentally emotionally and physically you shouldn't have to set aside whether you're a mom a dad whatever a college student you shouldn't have to set aside time for the week to take care of your mental health or your health overall you should be doing that every day and sometimes we get busy and our world gets crazy and we get in these negative head spaces and just just try 20 minutes a day i find it very important make sure you're taking care of yourself take care of yourself you cannot take care of somebody else unless you take care of yourself okay if you're in a bad mental space if you're in a bad space period you're not going to be able to help anybody else like i know that sounds crazy but you're just not you have to make sure that you just take care of your health because you're important and you want to be around for a while and you want to be happy you have one life one life make it a happy one so that is it for today's video guys i hope you like this get unready chit chat with me like i said all of the products that i used will be across the screen and just make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it make sure you are subscribed to my channel i do five beauty videos every week and one blooper video every saturday and as always guys i'll see you on the next one bye